Hello everyone, welcome in today's session. Have a look on this problem 3 to the power x minus square root of 3 to the power x plus 4 plus 20 is equal to 0. And here we have to find out value of unknown variable x. x is appearing in power and base is a constant. Third term is also constant. If we directly apply log on both sides, then right hand side log 0 is not defined. And on left hand side, if we apply log, then due to addition and subtraction, it becomes complicated because there is no standard formula to get the value of logarithm of a plus b. So something different idea we have to use here. So first of all, let us write the given equation as it is 3 to the power x minus square root of 3 to the power x plus 4 plus 20 is equal to 0. We know a to the power m plus n. This can be written as a to the power m into a to the power n. So apply this property here. Hence given equation becomes 3 to the power x minus square root of 3 to the power x into square root of 3 to the power 4 plus 20 is equal to 0. Since 3 is equal to square root of 3 its square and 9 is equal to square root of 3 to the power 4. Hence rewriting this equation replacing 3 by square root of 3 square. Square root of 3 its square and then its power x minus square root of 3 to the power x into square root of 3 to the power 4 is nothing but 9 plus 20 this is equal to 0 but we know a to the power m to the power n this can be written as a to the power n to the power m is equal to a to the power m into n apply this property here hence this can be written as square root of 3 to the power x and its power 2 interchange of 2 and x minus 9 times square root of 3 to the power x plus 20 is equal to 0. This is simplified form. Now here we have to use substitution. Let square root of 3 to the power x is equal to y. But we know square root of 3 is equal to we can write. 3 to the power half. Hence this is equal to 3 to the power half to the power x is equal to y. Again applying this property here a to the power m to the power n is equal to a to the power m into n. Hence this implies 3 to the power x upon 2 is equal to y. Now here taking log on both sides logarithm of 3 to the power x upon 2 is equal to logarithm of y. Hence, x upon 2 into logarithm of 3 is equal to logarithm of y. Since we know logarithm of a to the power m, this is equal to we can write m into log a. And now, taking log 3 upon 2 on right hand side, x is equal to 2 upon log 3 into log y. Now let us find value of y. Now rewrite given equation substituting root 3 to the power x is equal to y here. Hence we can write y square minus 9 into y plus 20 is equal to 0. Let us solve this quadratic equation to get the value of y. Now here factors of 20 are 4 into 5. Addition of these two factors must be equal to minus 9. So, minus 4 minus 5. This is equal to minus 9. Hence, we can apply here y square minus 4y minus 5y plus 20 is equal to 0. Taking y common from these two terms and minus 5 common from these two terms. Hence, y into bracket 
y minus 4 minus 5 into bracket y minus 4. This is equal to 0. Now we can take this bracket common from these two terms. Hence y minus 4 into in another bracket y minus 5 is equal to 0. But we know a into b is equal to 0. This implies either a is equal to 0 or b is equal to 0 or both a and b 0. Hence from here y minus 4 is equal to 0 and y minus 5 is equal to 0. Taking this 4 on right hand side y is equal to 4 and from here taking this 5 on right hand side y is equal to 5. So there are two values of y hence from this equation x is equal to 2 upon log 3 into logarithm of y. Case 1 for y is equal to 4 and in case 2 replace y by 5 here. Hence x is equal to 2 times logarithm of 4 divided by logarithm of 3 and if we substitute y is equal to 5 x is equal to we can write 2 times logarithm of 5 divided by logarithm of 3. Consider this is x1 and this is x2. These are values of x. Using calculator let us find the values of logarithm of 3, logarithm of 4 and logarithm of 5. Logarithm of 3 its value is 1.098612. Logarithm of 4, its value is 1.386294 and logarithm of 5 is 1.609438. These are approximate values of logarithm of 3, logarithm of 4 and logarithm of 5. Using these values, let us find x1 and x2 which are values of x. Hence, x1 is equal to 2 into logarithm of 4 1.386294 divided by logarithm of 3 that is 1.098612 and after calculation this is equal to 2.523719 and x2 is equal to 2 into log 5 is 1.60 9438 divided by log 3 which is 1.098612 this is equal to 2.929947 hence values of x are x1 is equal to 2.523719 and x2 is equal to 2.929 4, 7. Let us check these values are correct or wrong. To verify case 1 for x1 is equal to 2.523719. LHS of given equation is 3 to the power x minus square root of 3 to the power x plus 4 plus 20. Now replace x by x1. So this is equal to 3 to the power 2.523719 minus square root of 3 to the power 2.523719. Plus 4 plus 20 and value of this is approximately equal to 16 minus and this is approximately equal to 36 and this plus 20 which is equal to 0.
and this is right hand side of given statement hence x1 satisfies given equation now case number 2 for x2 is equal to 2.929947 left hand side of given statement is 3 to the power x minus square root of 3 to the power x plus 4 plus 20 now replacing x by this value so this is equal to 3 to the power 2.929947 minus square root of 3 to the power 2.929947 plus 4 Plus this twenty, and this is equal to this is approximately equal to twenty five, and this is approximately equal to forty five plus this twenty, and which is equal to zero. Hence, right hand side of given statement. This also implies that x two satisfies given equation. Hence, our answer is correct. hence the solution of given sum thanks for watching this video thanks a lot